order. So here's, here's a problem. I have the magnitude of vector A is 5, the magnitude of vector B is 3, the angle between them is pi over 4, so find A dot B. I'll use the theorem A dot B equals the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the cosine of theta. A lot of times I'll write the formula as the very first step, then the night before the test, 10 minutes before the test, I don't have to scramble to memorize those formulas. I'm going to know them. So just a little tip there about when you do the homework. So I have A dot B. The magnitude of A is 5. The magnitude of B is 3. And then I need the cosine of pi over 4. Since it said exact form, that to me, that means do not use your calculator. It means I have to recall that, that special angle chart from trigonometry and the cosine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2 or 1 over the square root of 2. And so uh, 5 times 3 is 15. So that's 15 times the square root of 2 over 2. And if you write 15 over the square root of 2, that's fine. Now for the calculator, for the rounding part, I would type this in my calculator. So this is the exact form. Let me label that. And then for my decimal, 15 times the square root of 2. Let me tilt the calculator a little bit. Now, this calculator opens parentheses when I press square root. You need to close those parentheses. If you don't close them, you're going to likely get the wrong answer. I got 1.06066017. What is that to two decimal places? Ten. Oh gosh, it is ten. Thank you. <laughs> so the decimal's right there. 10.6066. Zero one seven two. So what is that to two decimal places? 10.61. Okay, and, and check, um, well, I didn't type the cosine of pi over 4 in the calculator. If I did, I'd have to make sure my calculator is in radians. And um, this is my estimate. 